Currently, I'm spending the month in Milan designing for my handbag collection, but I decided to take a four-day trip down to Rome. It is mid-October of 2021, and I genuinely think this is the best time to visit. The weather is perfect, it's so warm during the day, and the crowds are much lower, I'm sure partly due to COVID, but also just the season. Visiting Rome and being in Italy in general during COVID has felt very similar to pre-COVID. There's people all over the streets, the cities are all so lively, but people are wearing their masks much more than they are in America, so just be prepared for that. Always have one with you everywhere you go, and definitely be ready to show your vaccination card, green pass, or negative COVID test everywhere, <laughs> especially in the museums. And if you're American, you can have a photo of your vaccination card with you, which is what I carry, but you do have to show your government issued ID. So driver's license with that so they can verify that it is indeed your green pass or vaccination card. But other than that, I've had a really wonderful trip. The museums have been pretty empty and I definitely recommend coming and visiting Rome while it is open and while the weather is still nice. Okay, good morning guys. It is Tuesday. Um, I had a productive morning. I got up, I made breakfast, I got everything set up with my URL pass and all of that. So I actually am going to Rome on Thursday, so two days. Um, my friend Hannah Weber and her boyfriend are there, so I'm going to meet them. I'm going to be there two days by myself, like I'm going earlier than them. Um, and I'm just gonna explore. I'm staying at a really cute hostel. It has great reviews. I've been to Rome a few times, but I've never actually gone there by myself. So this will be kind of nice. Um, I got the URL pass for the first time and I'm actually like so mad that I haven't done it before because you pay, I paid less for the pass than I would have for a round trip from Milan to Rome. And I have three more days of travel, so I can book three more like day trips. I can go to the south of Italy for free on that price. So I'm kind of kicking myself I didn't do that in the past because that would have saved me a lot of money. Um, but I'm doing it now. So I'm going to Rome on Thursday to Sunday, and then I'm going to like come on Monday. And then my best friend Hannah is coming on Thursday the 14th so that'll be amazing I'm meeting with my manufacturer tomorrow I cannot go into the factory because he is producing for a really big client that you guys all have heard of so there's kind of like NDAs and privacy policies yeah I sent my final images to my photographer in New York today so I'll be getting those soon and then probably next week I can meet with some agencies which is good because honestly I'm like breaking out a little bit just from like traveling and all of that so my skin will be calmed down my appetite will be back to normal and I'll just be feeling more settled in next week than I am right now so that'll actually be pretty nice to have that week to just chill and get adjusted so hopefully next week I can set up some meetings and get a few things going um so yeah Okay, I'll see you guys in a little. After a smooth three and a half hour train ride from Milan to Rome, I arrived at the Termini station and then walked about three blocks to the Beehive Hostel. I booked this hostel through hostelworld.com and I will link that in the description box below. I really genuinely loved this hostel. I stayed in an all-female dorm with four bunk beds and met amazing girls from Canada and the US and even Mexico. And I was honestly nervous to book a hostel during COVID. I prefer to travel and stay in hostels. I love hostels. But with COVID, I just wasn't really sure what to expect. And everything felt super normal. You just had to wear your mask in the common areas, which was totally fine and not an issue. This hostel had beautiful lounge areas. The bathrooms were some of the nicest bathrooms I've ever seen in a hostel. There was a kitchen. If you were staying for a few nights, you could get groceries. This was my outfit for the day with my black Vogel shoulder bag, of course. And then I made my way over to the Vatican Museums. I had pre-booked a ticket for entry 
of the Vatican and the Sistine Chapel, which you have to do with the COVID regulations. You have to book your tickets in advance. I did this for all of my museums, the Capitoline and Castel San Angelo. And there were even some museums like Villa Borghese that I could not get into because they were booked. Um, and this is the COVID regulations. It's honestly nice though because you can see that there are so many less people than normal. And this really enhanced this experience for me and I felt like it was a really new way to go through the Vatican museums just to kind of have my own space and an audio guide and not be rushed. And I really enjoyed that. The next afternoon, I met up with Hannah and Josh from home. We met at Piazza Popolo. We had actually booked a pasta and tiramisu making class, which was a highlight of my trip. I'll link it in the description box below. But we got to make our own pasta with a small group, and then the restaurant cooked it for us in a sauce of our choosing. And we got to eat it in Piazza Navona, and it was really, really incredible. On my last day, I walked over to Castel San Angelo. I pre-booked my ticket through TripAdvisor and we'll link that below. I paid for the entry admission and the audio guide. I do not recommend the audio guide on this tour. You had to download an app while you were standing in line. There was no like link sent out before. And then when I was in the museum, there were so many areas where I didn't have service and couldn't download or stream the audio that I needed for that specific room and so I really didn't take away a lot from that but visiting Castel San Angelo is from now on going to be one of my top recommendations something I've never done before and this was my third time going to Rome I thought it was so historically rich I learned so much from it and I loved the history of Hadrian and the popes all living there and the view from the top was spectacular so Definitely go there if you're going to Rome soon. After visiting the castle, I walked over to Piazza Popolo. It is one of my favorite spots in Rome and I wanted to finish out my trip there. It always reminds me of Roman holiday. I've put together a much more detailed list of the things I did and places I stayed on my blog, so I'll be sure to link that below as well. Thanks for watching!